Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation. And um, that was a little bit of the Irish, uh, the South Wind. And um, you probably noticed that there was a bit of reverb on that sound. And uh, I'm not plugged into anything here. Um, so what you are hearing is the Tonewood amp. And that's what I'm here to demonstrate. So the Tonewood amp attaches to the back of the guitar. Um, it comes with a, a short cable to go from your pickup output into the quarter inch input of the uh, Tonewood amp unit. It attaches by way of magnets. And uh, the way that works is Tonewood amp provides what they call the X-brace. And this goes inside the body of the guitar. Uh, it uh, sticks on the back with a um, little bit of uh, self-adhesive tape and provides a surface for the Tonewood amp uh, to snap on. So besides being held in place with the magnets, the unit also has two strips of soft rubber. And this is kind of a microscopic uh, suction cup kind of material that also holds the unit in place and also provides some padding on the, on the instrument's body. So this cone-shaped uh, little unit right here, uh, it's a soft uh, rubber cone. And you can see that it's moving when I'm pushing on it with my finger, is kind of the heart of the unit. It moves and touches the back of the guitar and thereby uh, transfers the sound that's created by the effects unit in this, uh, which is triggered from the pickup signal onto the back of the guitar. And because the back of your guitar moves as you're playing the instrument, uh, this is what creates the uh, sound of the effect being added to the natural sound of the guitar. So fundamentally, there are eight types of effect built into this unit. Uh, there's three uh, reverbs. Um, there's a tremolo. There is a delay. There's an auto wah. Um, there's a Leslie simulator effect in there. And uh, the stock configuration includes an overdrive function. Uh, but there's also a way to load additional effects. And in this case, I've replaced the uh, overdrive with a chorus effect, which I happen to think uh, is more appropriate for an acoustic setting. And it, it sounds really nice. And I'll show you that later. Uh, and that brings me to the fact that the unit includes USB in and outputs. And you can use that to, as I just mentioned, uh, update the uh, effects or update future firmware updates uh, with this thing. So that makes it uh, future proof, really, in that you can update it with the latest technology that Tonewood Amp develops for this unit. There are three uh, knobs to control the, uh, the effects and the parameters. And um, there's a standard effect dial. You, you go through the eight different effects with this. Uh, you can change the parameters of each effect. In the case of the reverbs, you can change the, uh, the, the, the delay and the tail on it. And uh, you have uh, two parameters for each one of the effects. There's a volume that's both the overall volume and the volume of the uh, effect itself as it's added to the, uh, to the acoustic sound of the unit. And uh, all of these uh, controls are multifunction in that you can push them and uh, access additional functions. Uh, and some of those include uh, a notch filter that is used uh, to control the effects of the unit in case feedback is an issue while you're going through the unit. And it's very easy to dial in and really fine tune the sound a bit with this. Uh, you can change the input gain of this depending on the, uh, the, the, uh, the strength of your pickup signal, whether it's active or passive, for example. And um, another function of the unit is that you can actually use it as essentially a traditional effect unit. Uh, you can turn off the, uh, the way it interacts with the acoustic properties of the guitar and just use it uh, as an effects unit with the quarter inch output. And I think that's actually a very cool feature to have as well. Uh, I've been in many situations where I was playing an open mic or a short showcase of some kind where there's really no sound check. And it's not uh, really practical to bring pedals or other kind of effects units. So to have something right on the guitar uh, that you can sort of preset your sound and plug it in, be ready to go, is actually a very cool feature of this unit as well. So the unit also includes a small display up here on the left side. And that is, of course, useful to see the settings that you have. If I scroll through the effects, for example, I can see my hall, my room, uh, plate. Um, those are the three reverbs. Uh, there's the delay, uh, uh, tremolo, um, Leslie, Ottawa, and then I have the chorus in there. And each one of the different par parameters that you can uh, custom set with this um, will show up in the little display. I should also say that in case you are using this with more than one guitar, uh, you can save presets for each guitar in there and just dial them up very quickly. So if you have different guitar sounds, that's an easy thing to do with this. 
The unit runs on uh, three AA batteries. Uh, they can either be alkalines or rechargeable batteries, and uh, they install right here in the uh, door right here on the bottom of the unit. OK, so let me run you through the basic effects that the unit offers. I'm going to start out uh, going back to the hall reverb that I played with uh, at the beginning of this video. hear the tail of the reverb right there. And I've got it set kind of to a medium setting. Of course, you can uh, fine tune uh, the way that the uh, reverb sounds. Let me go uh, to the um, next reverb, which is a room reverb. It's reverb number two. And again, I have it set to kind of a medium uh, setting. <laughs> Also has a fairly long tail the way I have it set up right now, but you can definitely hear that it's a, a little bit smaller environment that it's simulating. Um, the uh, third reverb is a plate reverb, and I've got that set up to a slightly shorter setting uh, to kind of uh, show the differences in there too. <laughs> So as you can tell, a lot of different ways to uh, add reverb to your sound. Um, you can tweak these much further. Uh, I've basically haven't strayed very far from the, uh, the the presets that the unit comes with, uh, but I've definitely used this. Um, in the context of playing with another guitar player, and it's a lot of fun to have one guitar with a little bit of uh, reverb added to it, while the other guitar might be uh, uh, standard uh, dry sound. Um, another application that I've personally found for this is I was recently on a live radio show, and I brought this guitar and uh, just going through a mic and having a little bit of a uh, of, of of a wetter sound, have, have being able to add the reverb to it without bringing my effects units or needing to plug in, was really quite nice, and uh, it sounded great. Um, on, on the radio, and uh, the DJ was quite surprised when I played my guitar and, and did this, and I got a lot of great comments on that. Um, so those are the three reverb sounds. Um, the next uh, sound that would come up is the delay. And again, I have this just kind of set up with a fairly long tail and, and some nice repeats. You can, you can uh, choose the time and the repeats of these. <laughs> So definitely a great unit if you've been used to playing with delay using pedals and you want to apply that to an acoustic uh, setting. Or if you've never played with effects and would just uh, have always been curious about using delay, which is a fairly radical effect to add to your acoustic sound, this is a great way to do it and just to experiment with, with an effect like that, uh, whether it's uh, a long effect with lots of repeats like this, or you do more of a short slapback kind of a delay, you can do that and set it up for that. And it's really the only time I've ever been able to do this in a completely acoustic context. The next effect we have is the uh, tremolo. And um, that is a fun effect to use, particularly for playing kind of sparse rhythm parts. <laughs> You can kind of hear it shimmer like you would expect a tremolo to do. A tremolo often is built into amplifiers. Uh, it's kind of a very traditional effect to use. And uh, it's a lot of fun to have on board uh, like this on the Tonewood amp. The next effect is a Leslie effect. Leslie is, of course, the rotating speaker that uh, organ players often use. And it's an effect that's been popular with, with guitar players sometimes. It's a very cool effect to use to kind of lush chords like that for comping. Um, you could use it for uh, arpeggiating chords. It's 
kind of constant, uh, slightly swooshing sound uh, that does kind of um, simulate the way that an organ would sound. You kind of think about it having these sustained notes um, uh, sort of being affected by that sound. After the Leslie comes the Ottawa. And that is an effect that, of course, a lot of electric guitar players like to use for playing kind of funky lines. The Ottawa simulates a wah-wah pedal that you would ordinarily uh, operate with your foot as you're playing. An Ottawa, uh, which is a common effect, uh, senses the strength of the, uh, of the note of the attack and sort of applies the effect automatically. So if I'm playing it soft, you're not going to hear as much of it as um, if I'm playing a little bit harder. Finally, I mentioned that I um, installed the chorus effect in this unit. And uh, that is the final effect that is uh, available to me right now. It's somewhat similar to the Leslie effect, a bit more um, subtle. Chorus is probably, uh, next to reverb, the most common effect that a lot of acoustic guitar players add to their sound. Uh, it can add a really nice kind of shimmer. Um, it's a nice way to distinguish uh, a guitar from another acoustic guitar in kind of a band or ensemble setting. And it can just kind of fatten up your sound. Um, I've used chorus uh, for playing slide before, a lot of people like that. And uh, it's a nice effect to just have available among all the other effects in your Tonewood amp. So I mentioned earlier that besides the ability to add effects to your pure acoustic sound of the guitar, the Tonewood amp can also work as a more traditional effects processor, one that happens to be mounted directly to your guitar. Uh, I have it still mounted on the guitar, but instead of using the acoustic properties of the unit, I'm uh, using the quarter inch output to plug into a uh, Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge Amplifier here. If I was uh, in a larger venue, maybe I would plug from here into a direct box, go into the PA, and um, <laughs> have a big reverb sound at my disposal right here without needing any pedals, anything else to plug into, no need for AC power. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, your audience might never know that you're going through an effects processor because the unit is hidden on the back of the guitar. I think this is a very cool uh, application for the unit, as I mentioned earlier. And um, it's, uh, it really sounds good. It's a nice sounding, in this case, reverb. <laughs> And of course, all the effects that demoed earlier are available uh, through this application with the quarter inch output into a PA. Okay, so those are some of the um, basic uh, functions that the Tonewood amp offers. It's definitely a very uh, unique piece of gear um, that can really enhance both your purely acoustic sound, as well as being a useful tool on stage if you're actually plugged in. There's one other feature that it has that's uh, quite interesting. It has a special mini jack input that can be used to interface with iOS devices, uh, essentially iPhones and iPads. And uh, you can use it uh, to trigger some uh, synth type sounds from uh, various apps. Uh, and um, it can also be used to uh, do some recording applications. And uh, so that that's yet another level of features that the unit offers uh, that is uh, very cool to explore. OK, so I hope I've uh, helped you understand some of the uh, basic functions and features of the Tonewood amp. Uh, it's a very fun piece of gear to have, uh, whether you're playing acoustically or in a plugged-in setting. And um, check them out at uh, tonewoodamp.com. Uh, please come back here to Peghead Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gherkin. I'll just go out uh, showing you a little bit more of the chorus sound of the unit. And I'm using the output going into my amplifier here uh, to show you that sound. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. My name is Taya Gherkin. <laughs>